how to set up Slippy Melee, because all the other videos are outdated or doo-doo. Timestamps below. Okay, you'll need one, a Melee ISO file, which you'll need to get yourself. Don't worry, Google is your friend. And two, either a GameCube controller and an adapter, or B, any type of USB controller. Step one, go to slippy.gg. Once there, scroll down and download the Slippy launcher setup. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Step two, once it's downloaded, open it up and go through the install process. Make sure to install the GameCube adapter drivers when prompted. When it's done, run the launcher. Step three, if you've already made an account, log in. If not, register and follow the prompts until you hit this screen. This is where you drag and drop your legally obtained ISO into the app. Now, if you're using a GameCube controller adapter, you can plug in the black USB. If you want controller rumble or you're using a fob, plug the white one in as well. Also, make sure the switch at the back is set to Wii U, not PC. Now plug in your controller and start playing. And for players who want better input consistency, there's a guide on how to overclock your adapter in the description. But if you're on a USB controller, we gotta do one extra thing. Hit the cog icon in the top right, click netplay, then click configure dolphin. Click controllers and change port 1's GameCube adapter to standard controller. Then click configure. You'll be greeted with this menu. Find your device in the drop down menu. In this case I'm using a Switch Pro controller but Xbox and PS4 also work fine. Now click to bind and press the button on your controller. And when binding the analog sticks, just flick in the appropriate direction. Here's what I recommend for each major layout. Now it's very important to bind your triggers to both L, R, and L analog and R analog. This means you can do a full shield press as well as analog input. If you're on a PS4 controller, you may be getting the issue where your analog isn't being registered. So instead do this, right click, press clear, and scroll until you find either axis XR plus for L or axis YR plus for R. Press select, apply, and OK, and then repeat for all the other three. Once you're done binding, type the name of your profile and click save. Now close all that and hit play. First test if you can run the game on default settings. If not, Diet Melee is a mod project that makes it more accessible by lowering graphics, so that may be a good place to start. On the other hand, if you want to play in 4K widescreen, then all you got to do is go to settings, net play, configure dolphin and graphics. To start in full screen, check this box. To change the resolution and anti-aliasing, go to the first enhancements tab. You can mess around with per pixel lighting and fog if you wanna, but for widescreen, do not check this box. Instead, close it and right click on your melee ISO, then go properties, gecko codes, and check widescreen 16x9. Then go back to graphics and force the aspect ratio to be 16x9. All right, you're all set up. Now here's a tutorial on the basics and consider subscribing.